I just got this package in today from Macmillan Publishers. I didn't know what was in it. I opened it. Oh, don't think I have my camera on at the moment that I opened it, but I pulled the book out and it's called The Manicurist's Daughter. I really don't remember having asked for this book, like a Goodreads giveaway or anything, but it comes with a cover letter. Let's see what it says. It says, Dear Celadon Reader, we are delighted to share with you Susan Liu's memoir, The Manicure's Daughter, on sale March 12th. As you read, you'll see that Susan uses food as a way to connect with and reach out to loved ones. We hope that you will use the enclosed manicurist daughter postcards to reach out to those you care about too. So there are these postcards that came with it. I haven't looked at them yet. Why did I get this? I don't know why I got this book. I don't think I would have ordered or asked for this book. The only reason I think I might have received this is because I have uh, actually received an Asian book from Goodreads giveaway in the past. But to be honest, first impressions, the manicurist's daughter. They don't know it, of course, but I have like a, I have a, I don't even know what the word for it is. It's one of those things where you just don't read those kinds of books. I have read like The Time Traveler's Wife and other books that says somebody's daughter or somebody's wife as a title, and I just don't read those anymore. But since they sent me a copy in the mail, guess what I'm going to be reading? The Manicurist's Daughter. I will read it. I will review it. I don't mind. I'm glad they sent it to me. I'm excited about this. It's got an interesting cover. Okay, what does it say on the back? This is a brand new book, you guys. I mean, what did I do to deserve this? Nothing. So it says, an emotionally raw memoir about the crumbling of the American dream and a daughter of refugees who searches for answers after her mother dies during plastic surgery. Oh, that is sad. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to read it. Thank you very much for sending it to me. The postcards. Let's get back to the postcards. They're cute. It says, this is a Vietnamese crepe. Um, interesting. They might teach me to cook while they're at it. That would be awesome. I'd love to learn to cook some of this Asian food. This is sautéed clams with black bean sauce and green onion on this postcard. And one more postcard. It's got, I would say the Vietnamese names, but I don't speak that language, so I don't want to say it wrong. But this one, um, show it to you. I think it's a salad. Sour tamarind soup with catfish. So it's not a salad. And then in the little in the little bowl it says pork belly and eggs and, and rice. I do eat rice, so we're good with that. <laughs> Probably the only Asian food that I'm now eating a lot of. So anyhow, this is gonna be interesting. I'll let you know how it goes. And thank you to, I think it's Celadon, is the publisher, who sent me a book. It's Celadon Books of New York. Okay, they sent me this book. I did not ask for it, but I think it is because I have read another one of their books and reviewed it in the past. Dear Reader, my goal has always been to publish my memoir, my story, and by extension, my mother's story at the age of 38. That's the age my Vietnamese refugee mother was when she died from a botched plastic surgery operation, and that is where my memoir begins. For the last two decades, no one in my family has ever spoken 
of her or how she died, I would ask questions, but they said I was being too emotional or stuck in the past. Desperate for answers, I joined a cult, tracked down the family of my mother's surgeon, and sought justice through the help of spirit channelers. You'll find out all about this and more in the book. There are some funny parts, I promise. Finally, after two years of writing, two trips to the ER from stress, and an inordinate amount of time processing my family trauma live on stage with my theatrical solo show, 140 Pounds, How Beauty Killed My Mother, I am so excited to send you this early copy of The Manicurist's Daughter. It's officially coming out March 2024, one month before I turn 39, I am just eking over the finish line, people. While writing this memoir has been the most difficult thing I've ever done, the best part has been getting feedback from readers. I love hearing about which moments shook you, which characters, um, my living family, you found the most fascinating when you needed tissues, when you obnoxiously laughed out loud, and most importantly, what reflections you've gone on to have after finishing the book. I would love to hear what you think about this book and how it made you feel. Be sure to tag me in your posts on Instagram or TikTok and recommend the book to others. Thank you for joining me on this wild journey. I look forward to connecting with you on the flip side. This is from Susan. Lee, Lou, L-I-E-U, I don't know how to pronounce that, so, but anyhow, sounds like a book to read. Okay, thank you for listening.